Welcome back to AlgoJS. Today's question is leak code 1448, count good nodes in binary tree. So given a binary tree root, a node x in the tree is named good. If in the path from root to x, there are no nodes with a value greater than x. So the value can be equal to x. Return the number of good nodes in the binary tree. So in our first example, we have this binary tree. And as you can see, the first node, the root node is three. So any values that are beneath it that are less than three aren't going to be considered good. So if we go down the left side and then the right side, so three, the current total is three. Current total is three here now. So one is not greater than three. So we go down three is equal to three. And as we said, there are no nodes of value greater than X. So three is equal to X. So that is considered good. So we can update account variable here. So now we have two, so including the root as well. Then if we go down the right hand side, we increment count because four is greater than the current max of three. Then we go down left. One is not greater than the current max of four. So that's not added into the count. And then we go down to five. Five is greater than four. So we increment the count. Okay, so this is a standard binary tree problem. And in this problem, we are going to have to keep track of the current max, right? So at the root level, the maximum is going to be three. Then we're going to pass this down to the root's children and we're going to update this count as we go down. And then we can adjust a global count variable accordingly. The maximum is currently at three. Root.val is greater than or equal to it. So remember, it's greater than or equal to here. So once we've done that, we can DFS down the left and the right. So if we go to the left side, we're at one. We've passed down the maximum of three one is not greater than or equal to three. So we can go down again, passing down the maximum. Three is greater than or equal to three. So we can update the count. So now we have two good nodes. So count will be two here. Once we reach the bottom, we reach null values. So this could be a base case right here. So if root is equal to null, we can just return from this. So we return from it. There's no positions to go to, we return from it can't go down the right here, we return. So we get up to this level, we can go down the right hand side. So we go down the right hand side, we reach four. The maximum that's been passed down to here is three. Four is greater than or equal to three. So we increment count, and then we need to update the max here. So the maximum that we're going to pass down to four's children is going to be four, right? Because it's going to be the maximum between four and three. So four, Pass down to one. One is not greater than or equal to four. So we don't update the count. We go to null. So we return from that, return from that. Go back up to four, go down to five. Remember the maximum that's passed down is the maximum between these two, so it's four. Five is greater than or equal to four. So we increment count one more time. We reach null, so we return from it. Null, return from it. Go back, go back and we exit this. And then we can just return count here. So time complexity here is going to be O of N because with DFS, with depth of search, we visit each node exactly once. And then space complexity is going to be O of N also. Okay, so let's write this out. So we need to keep track of the count, which we'll set at zero. And we need to keep track of max, which initially we can set at root.val. So we can set as the root value. Then we need to create a DFS function and when we call it, we'll pass in root and the maximum. And we can just call it root and max in the params. And then we write our base cases at the start of the DFS function. So if root is equal to null, we can just return from that. And then if root.val, so the current value we're on, if that is greater than or equal to maximum, then we have found a good node. So we update the maximum to equal max between the max in the global scope and root.val. And then we increment count. Then all we need to do is DFS down the left and DFS down the right, passing in the maximum, which we just updated. So root.left, max, DFS root.right, max. Then we return count. Submit it. And there you go. 